I'm Christina Casillo. I'm Frankie Camposano. And welcome to Love It or Hate It. The game's pretty simple. Frankie and I will say a topic, and our guests have to instantly decide if they love it or hate it. No in-betweens. Let's meet our panel. One of the Property Brothers, Jasper Pike. President of the United States, Barack Obama. Uh, let me be clear. And uh, Republican presidential candidate, Nicole Mulkinton. <laughs> Our first topic is acapella, music exclusively from the mouth. Oh my god, we have a unanimous this. consensus. Pitch perfect, love it or hate it. Oh, hate it. <laughs> the second one? Oh, the collective, one? okay. You hate the first one but love the second one? Yeah. I haven't I'm seen the, the second one. Don't see it, I hated the second one. I enjoyed the second one thoroughly. See, I thought the first one was like, Ugh, but then the second one wasn't even trying. It was, was just no like plot. funny. <laughs> there was yeah, and the no jokes plot. were good. So I was like, all right, I'll take it for what it is because you know what you are. Hoverboarding. It's like longboarding for the 1%. Okay. No. No. I really hate that our athletes have them on campus. I think they're so stupid. First off, they're athletes. They should be the most agile people on campus. They're better than walking than we are. And they're just rolling around. It's so weird. I think but, it's but funny. But doesn't it look like so much fun? No. Yeah. <laughs> Have I you tried it? it? Don't no. knock it till you try it. I wish it. they were actual hoverboards. I hate that they're clearly not. They're yeah. all, like they are touching the ground. There's in no certain cases, if you are in the mail center line, and I'm talking directly to the girl who I saw in the mail center line on Whoa. a hoverboard, you are standing still. You don't need to be on there. So I'm, I'm just saying they're not hoverboards. If the basis for hovering is your feet aren't touching the ground, this is now a hover chair. Kim Jong-un, he really hates James Franco. Love it or hate it. Okay, I wow. think we're all in agreement that a human rights violator is a good person to hate. So we better cancel Kim Jong-un's guest appearance later in the show. Schedule oh. that in. Open letter think pieces uh, from sites like Elite Daily and The Odyssey it's like some tweeters now have this opportunity to use more than 140 characters. Uh, common ones are like, my sorority sister, or the man that broke my heart. Spencer, odd one out. Okay. Give us some deets. Yes, yeah, some of them are stupid, but some of them are like, okay, well-intentioned. Like, you want a platform to write, then you have that platform. You type, you find your audience, you let me know what's going on with you. And if you have a good title, I'll check you out. If not, I'll keep on scrolling. Doesn't mess with my day. I think that an open letter to my future little is like probably one of the most written articles on the Odyssey first off. And they're unnecessary. They're completely unnecessary. They just are like, you are going to be loved in our family when we get you. And I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> Nobody has time for this. There's yeah. never open letter to my little. Look, it's probably not really going to work out. It's just not going to be like, a good time. We'll try to <laughs> force it, <laughs> but I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Hook up culture think pieces. Is Netflix and chill killing America? Probably not, but let's see what the panel thinks. All right, you're the lone wolf here. Oh. I am confused on the question. Are we just talking about the, like everyone that like types on like the Odyssey, like hook up culture is so bad, what happens to romance? Okay, <gasps> yep, okay, so okay. we're unanimous <laughs> in that one. Is love dead? No. 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 Are we dead right now? No. Yes. No, but I can't say like for sure. Yeah. Andy Grammer. This is the famed Dancing with the Stars contestant and infamous Elon Homecoming concert canceller. He had yeah. his chance. Take that. Bye, I've, Felicia. I've never <laughs> been so hurt by someone I didn't want to come to campus telling me they weren't going to come. I was immediately <laughs> like, oh my god, like I'm... I was furious, but I didn't want him in the first place. Yeah, I was not that <laughs> thrilled about Andy Grammer. I was like, mm, okay, I think I'll go. But then when he canceled, I was like, well, how dare he cancel on <laughs> us? We're I, paying him. I have never heard of him, but I have like this fantasy in my mind where I'm interning at this place, and they're like, oh, Andy Grammer, and I call him out on the air. Not that I would be on the air because I'm an intern. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I it's your dream. It's your rules. Yeah. So. No, my parents were losing their mind because I mentioned to them, I said, hey, our homecoming concert is tonight, but our headliner, Andy Grammer, canceled. And they're like, oh my gosh, on Dancing with the Stars, which we regularly watch because they're 50-year-old white people, mm -hmm. um, Andy Grammer was talking about how he had to cancel a concert. I had no idea it was yours. So he said that he had to cancel a concert but couldn't even name drop our school. That's pretty low. 
If you loved it or hated it, let us know by following at Elon Edge on Twitter and Facebook and at The Edge Mag on Instagram using the hashtag love it or hate it. See you next time. Da, da, da.